Hello and welcome. In this question, they're asking us about a sequence of transformations that gets us from the figure P to the figure Q, and you want to think about what those are. So I have the multiple choice options below, but you might pause the video, take a moment, and try to figure out how could I get from P to Q. What are some options? There's lots of ways to do it. So go ahead, pause the video, give it a shot, see what you can do. All right, so let's take a look at the options here. Um, and I want to look at the first two, uh, because the answer is contained in there. Uh, if we look at the first option, it says a reflection over the x-axis. So the x-axis, of course, is the horizontal axis. It's this axis right here. And when we reflect this shape over the axis, a nice way to deal with that is to draw the points here where each of the curves or lines meet, and then think about, in this case, those four points, how their mirror image would form on the opposite side of the x-axis. So any kind of shape you get, look for these vertices and reflect them over the x-axis. So any point on the axis, like if you imagine that the x-axis is a mirror, if you put a shape right next to the mirror right, and lay it against the mirror so that the points are touching it, those points won't move. So this point, negative 2, 0, and negative 5, 0 won't move at all. But this point over here, let's call that negative 5, 3. And this point right here is negative 2, 3, scroll up a little bit. Those two points are 3 away from the x-axis, so when we reflect them, they'll go 3 units in the other direction from the mirror. The mirror is the x-axis. So it's 3 units down and then 3 units back to our new reflection point here. And that point happens to be negative 2, comma, negative 3. And then this point also, negative 5, 3, is 3 units down to the mirror, or the x-axis, and then 3 units again. It's equal, these distances must be equal, right? So that's really important. Um, so these two distances here are equal, and these are also equal. This point is negative 5, negative 3. And then I'm going to sketch the rest here, because I don't need to be exact. So we'll call this P prime. That's what the shape looks like reflected. And I notice that if I just kind of slide this shape over to the right, I do get shape Q. The question is, how far to the right? Well, this point corresponds to this lower right corner here. And that's a distance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to the right. And then this point is also slid over 7 units to the right here. And so is this point, negative 5, 0, goes all the way up to 2, 0. That's 7 spaces. And negative 2, 0, all the way over to 5, 0 here. So everything is being slid over five, 7 units to the right, and that means our answer is A. It's a reflection over the x-axis, and a translation is 7 units to the right. And usually with these kind of problems, you might go through each choice. I encourage you to try the others, and if you'd like to see a demo of B, C, or D, please let me know, and I will do that. Okay, thanks.